Hello everyone, welcome to Software Testing Zone. In our last session, we implemented POM model in our project. So where we had separate pages for login and logout and we created object of those classes. Okay, those pages in our execution class and we executed the code and every test was passed. Let's execute it one more time. We'll go to test ng test. Okay, there is a failure. Let's see what is it. Mm. Selenium session not created exception, and this is because this version of Chrome driver only supports Chrome version 114. Okay, now if I check a version of my Chrome, it's updated to 116.0.5845. So let's download the updated version. We'll go to selenium.dev. Mm, we'll go to downloads and downloads let's scroll down we'll go to browsers we want chrome so we'll go to documentation now it's saying uh, where is the download page here it is so here also the current version is 1140.5735 is available and it's saying if you are using chrome version 115 or newer please consult chrome for testing availability dashboard so if you are using a chrome version which is 115 or greater than that our current chrome version is 116 so we'll have to go to chrome for testing availability this is the new dashboard they have introduced for versions 115 and above so we need for this one i'll copy this link and i'll just paste it here enter and it will start downloading the newest version okay it's already downloaded let's go to the folder i'll extract it here So some students are facing this problem that uh, we don't have the updated version. So this is the way we can download the version which is greater than 115. We'll go to our browser. I'll delete this version. And I'll go here. I'll say copy or simply control C will work control C and i'll paste it here control v okay so the updated version is in our project now now let's update the project maven update the project okay it's updating the project now let's execute it i run test ng i hope this should work now okay yeah our website has been launched to we'll maximize the browser yep. login logout okay. let's go to eclipse it will say that we ran two test cases and it passes two okay so this is the reason that uh, we were not able to execute our code because the version was not matching with the uh, executable file we have in our project okay let's try to execute it through suit as well and yes it's working perfectly fine so we are good with this this one is looking for invalid credentials as well and it will log out from the website in our today's session we are going to look at how can we use parameters in test ng okay now how to use parameters so in which case we will be using parameters for example now we are using chrome driver now at the same time you have to test for firefox browser we have to uh, test for ie browser and safari browser in that case uh, we can use at the rate parameters 
at the red parameters annotation control space bar will give you suggestions so we have to use parameters test ng annotation not parameter okay double click on that now we have to provide a parameter over here it should be in curly braces in double quote let us say i'm using a parameter named as browser browser okay so if we are mentioning like using parameters with test engine okay so in the method i have to mention so let us say parameters as a string browser okay string as a browser we have to complete the curly brace here browse let us print this first thing first now the browser launched is and i'll give this parameter here browser okay now let's introduce some code here let's introduce some code like if let us say if in bracket browser dot equals browser dot equals and let us say we are going for chrome okay then we will use this code we will use this code okay because this is the code we use to launch our chrome driver now i'll introduce another code else if else if browser dot equals let us say firefox firefox then we will be having code for firefox now you know the code for firefox so you can add it when you are practicing I'll save a little time here. Browser dot equals will have another for i Internet Explorer, and at the same time, else else if browser dot equals. Do we have anything else? Safari. You can go for Opera. So they are like you know. A list of browsers you want to test and uh, yeah that's it so what we have done here we have used parameter for browsers okay I have written code for one browser you can mention code for other browsers as well for Firefox we are having Geeko driver okay so new Firefox driver web driver dot Geeko, Geeko dot driver we have to mention that here uh, let us let me use this for that we also need to you know um, download browsers the way we have done it for chrome so we need to have exe files for firefox ie and for safari other drivers also firefox firefox driver it will be here and here it should be geeko geeko dot driver okay so this will be code for geeko driver now once this part is done what we have to do is let's save this and we'll go to our testng.xml so here we have to add parameters okay so let us say parameters so for name we have used parameter as browser and for value i'll add here as chrome for value i will add chrome here okay because in our test ng uh, in our uh, test file we have mentioned parameter as browser and the value should be chrome the value should be chrome if the value is chrome as we have mentioned here then it will execute this code if the value is firefox it should execute this code if the value is ie this code will be executed so now let's try and see if it works run as test ng suit and yeah it's, it, it has launched our chrome driver chrome browser it will launch the website 
and it will do all the stuff which we have mentioned in our test file okay now let's do one more thing so for example uh, in this in this enter username what we have done is we have passed uh, let's see we have we have hard coded these values right send as admin now let's do one thing we'll mention one string here let us say user and we will pass this user over here instead of hard coding our inputs we will pass this user over here and we will return this user we will return this user okay so now as we have mentioned a parameter as a string it's asking me to change the return type so instead of void we'll have to mention string okay yeah the error has gone now we have created this method enter username which will accept user as an input now let's go to our test file okay where is so see it's asking for something there is a red line add argument the string so we'll do this we will add user over here okay now as we have added over here we also have to mention over here string user okay string user now we have to use parameter if you want to give it at the execution time so check login enter username above this i'll add one parameter parameters parameters and my parameter is user my parameter is user <clears throat> okay <clears throat> Once I have add this in test ng also we have to mention the same thing. So I'll copy this line and I'll paste it line over here. Parameter name is user and what is the value of user? It's admin. Okay. So we have mentioned our parameter as well as our value value of the parameter. We'll see one more time. So if you go to login page initially what we were using the same like password we were doing hard coding we were passing the hard coded value admin over here so i don't want to expose the actual values to the end user right so i want to give this as an input at the execution time so that's why we have created a parameter user we have passed it over here we can do the same for enter password also but to have some difference for understanding i am keeping this both the methods okay so here we have used parameters and here we are not using any type of parameter now the same parameter i have to used in our, our uh, test file where we are executing the code so here i have passed the parameter as use okay i am using parameters annotation and in our test ng file i have added parameter as user and value as admin okay you can do the same for negative testing if like you know instead of admin you can pass any any other value wrong input so let's execute this let's say how it goes so yeah it took the input as admin and password as admin123 and the code was executed successfully okay you can see test run to passes to login logout is successful okay so this way we can add multiple parameters where we don't want to you know expose our input values to the end user and if you want to change the parameters at the time of execution okay so simply if i here if i put firefox then it will search for firefox uh, driver exe which is we don't have currently so we won't be able to execute this okay but what you can do as a homework is download all the exe files for a different uh, you know different browsers the code is already we are having okay so you go for firefox driver you go for ie driver you go for safari driver where we, you can find this all you can find it over let us say um, Chrome driver this one is for Chrome driver documentation then you are having documentation for all other drivers so 
where is that <coughs> yeah here browser so you are having firefox internet explorer safari opera chrome edge okay so you can test for all these browsers you just need to download the exe file if you go to the documentation you will get uh, the different versions of geeko driver releases okay so this way you can easily test for different drivers which we have yeah that's it for today it's already uh, more than 10 minutes video so i'll cover uh, use of data providers where you can uh, test any particular test case for multiple inputs for example for username and password right so you can test it for a pair of valid credentials you can test it for pair of invalid credentials and we can do that i'll be uh, sharing that video soon for this video this is enough i know the videos are coming little late but yeah because of time constraint i'm not able to you know uh, record these videos very often and post it on my channel but just uh, tune with me and you will be able to find each and everything which you need to know while testing thank you very much guys and do sus subscribe to the channel if you like the video do share it with your friends so that it will help them to you know build their testing journey testing career thank you very much have a great day bye